Good morning, everybody. So, as you may know, I am from Santa Cruz, California, and being from Santa Cruz, we have a couple uh, brands that we are especially proud of, and one of them happens to have a store here. It's called Verve Coffee, and uh, I think they have about five locations worldwide, and they're mostly on the west coast of California, except for one, which is happens to be in Tokyo. So. That's how I'm going to start my day today, and I'm really excited about it. Ah oh man, it was so good to get some Verve coffee back in my life. That coffee is so good, and it's really cool that they have their, their spot here. And I'm really glad that I got to go see it. Now I am walking to Shibuya from Shinjuku, which is where I'm staying, and I kind of just randomly chose Shinjuku. Uh, I don't know how I came to that conclusion that I should stay there, but it's working out great because it's a cool area and it's kind of close to a lot of things. I was just walking to Shibuya right now and I just started following some people that were headed the same direction and all of a sudden you go from these amazing buildings and super dense, densely populated areas and now I'm in this beautiful forest and there are a ton of people walking this direction. I have no idea for what, but I'm going with them. I think that when you're able to walk somewhere, definitely walk somewhere because you find these random things and you would definitely not find that if you took the subway there. So I am just enjoying the beautiful day, taking it nice and calm which is a good thing. Sometimes I feel like I get kind of stuck trying to go a million miles an hour and uh, it's especially easy here in Japan because everyone else is going a million miles an hour. But just take it easy, just take it nice and slow and enjoy the day. Well, I made it down here to Shibuya and uh, I am just walking up to the infamous crossing now. And I have to say, it looks way, way different in person than I would have guessed. But it's still amazing, still a ton of people walking around once they uh, stop all the cars and let people go. So it's still pretty cool. Check this out. So pretty cool, but this building right here, this one, is the awesome building that has the soccer field on top. I would love to get up there, but unfortunately I don't think that's gonna happen. Now I am off to the Apple store that's near here. It's iPhone day, so I'm gonna go see what that's all about. Pretty amazing. But yeah, I always like to go check out cool different Apple stores that they have around the world. Whenever I'm near one, might as well go check it out because they're pretty cool. So that's where I'm headed now. I don't really have a plan today, so uh, I'm just kind of walking around and exploring. I'm actually surprised at how many people are in line. I, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get in there today because everyone's trying to pick up their new iPhone 10s. So, it's cool to see anyway. Now I am off to explore some more. I don't know what. Okay, so I fast forwarded a little bit in the day and uh, the sun is starting to go down, but I just figured out where some of the cooler parts of Shinjuku are. I really had no idea about really anything about Japan before coming here, so kind of making it up as I go along and exploring, but I just found a cool place to go to for this evening, so that's where I'm headed now. I've been trying to make a video, a life update video, that will be coming out in the next few days. Uh, and I just trying to mull it over and make sure that I say the right things and uh, make it the right way, respectful and uh, give you guys the full breakdown of the story of what's going on with me and uh, so that is to come.
These streets are crazy out here. It's just amazing how many people are out and about. So I'm in search of those small Japanese streets with uh, shops and restaurants on either side. And uh, I think I've found them. As I am heading back to where I'm staying for the evening, of course I find the very specific street that I had been looking for all night long, uh, which was the last street you just saw. That is okay though because uh, I had already eaten dinner and it was quite crowded anyway. If you're interested in going to that street, which is kind of like the iconic Shinjuku, Tokyo, tiny street with uh, a lot of, it looked like a lot of good food. I'm gonna leave a Google Maps link to where it's at in the description below, so check that out. And that's all I've got for today. Tomorrow I am off to Mount Fuji, so I will see you guys then.